I am broke. But so far, this summer has been one of my best yet because it really rewired my brain to find alternative ways to enjoy the time off and turn seemingly ordinary things to my own version of extraordinary. After all, it's all about having a good time, right? I recently just moved countries and don't have a job right now, so I have very little to splurge. Seeing my friends going on summer trips, festivals, and adventures on social media was really hard. I was happy for them for sure, but I became more and more depressed. Not to mention all the other eye-catching and delicious contents force-fed to me by those platforms. They just made the matter worse because I wasn't going to be any part of it. I had no choice but to completely turn it off before it devastated my last bit of spirit. But then something amazing happened. Teeny tiny little ideas started popping up in my head. I was thinking, if happiness is triggered by hormones such as serotonin, endorphins, and dopamine in the brain, does it really matter if I do exactly what others are doing? There must be other ways. The first instinct was to get outside and just walk and observe and think. And think hard. I know I have a camera. I have a bike. I love nature. I love colors, lights, and images. So, without any particular purpose, I just bike around and start shooting videos. It's interesting how one can see the world from different perspectives through camera lenses, and find meanings to ordinary things. There's a spike of dopamine every time an intriguing moment is captured on camera. It makes me feel happy and excited. And time goes by really quickly when you're that focused. Of course, occasionally there would be problems and obstacles, but it was never something that couldn't be fixed. It was a learning curve. Going through all these moments I had captured with my camera so far, I realized one thing: there is a story. And then I set a goal for myself: let me tell the story using images. Then things started to come together. I started to create a storyboard and make sketches. I would look up the weather forecast and make plans. I would prepare my own coffee and lunch wraps. And suddenly, sitting on a park bench with my homemade cheap coffee and lunch wraps, I'm thinking, "Hey, my summer is not so bad." Oh, and of course, my own food tasted kind of nice too. Not sure what putting interesting images together means to anyone else, but it makes me feel positive, and it makes me want to do more. It makes me want to use the similar techniques as they use in my favorite TV shows and movies. I want to learn and imitate those in my work. Feeling good, feeling great, 'cause I got a big old smile upon my face. And you can't take that away.、Mm. Feeling good, feeling great, and I know today is going to be my day. And you can't take that away. 
Maybe in a few years I would be somewhere in Greece or Thailand. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter because the moment is now. And after all, it's all about having a good time, right? Does it matter how? Oh, and did I mention I spent so very little money so far? But it's not over yet. Thanks for watching. The story continues. Feeling good, feeling great. And I know today is going to be my day.